We all know a lot of people are moving to Florida. That's a true. But almost just as many are leaving. Have you ever wondered why that is? I know I have. In this video, we're going to give you our top eight reasons why people are leaving Florida. If throughout this video you find yourself enjoying our content, please subscribe down below. And hit the bell. So you don't miss any of our uploads. Especially when we go live. Every Thursday night, guys, right here on YouTube to answer your, your questions. questions. Now let's talk about the top eight reasons why people are leaving Florida. Right now. Sunshine, blue skies, it's a state of mind that we came to find. I'm talking about Paul. As we get into this list, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few reasons that aren't going to shock you, but you're going to want to stay tuned because we do have some reasons that I've never heard anybody else talk about. So let's hop right in. The first reason that people leave Florida is one that I know you've heard about, and that's the traffic. traffic. And while the traffic in Florida can definitely be brutal, it's all relative, right? It depends on where you're coming from. Those of you that are coming from states like California, maybe close to LA, or if you're coming from a place like New York City or any other major metropolitan area, the traffic here isn't going to seem like it's that much different. Now, if you're coming from a place like ours, where it takes five minutes to get to literally everything in your town, well then yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of shell shock. Yeah, traffic congestion where we came from was almost non-existent, but here in Central Florida, when I'm coming home from work, I can expect to add at least an extra 15 to 20 minutes on my drive home from what it takes for me just to get to work in the morning. So just us being here roughly about three years, we already know the times and the places to avoid. So the next reason that people are moving out of Florida has to do with the heat and the humidity and the weather in general. Florida is hot, in case you didn't know. And yeah, back up in the Midwest, we dealt with a lot of heat and humidity, but it only lasted from June through August. Here in Florida, that heat and humidity runs from about April all the way to the end of October. Eric and I personally know people that have had it back up north because of the heat. And guys, the humidity is out of this world. You are going to sweat just walking outside at about six o'clock in the morning. But ladies and gentlemen, let me at least ease your mind on hair humidity. Oh boy, here we go. If I can tame this mane in the humidity, you're gonna be just fine. Now, with the humidity and the heat, there could be some more serious issues. There may be people with health issues that struggle to breathe. That would be a good reason to leave. And with the weather in Florida comes things like hurricanes, and we get tornadoes too, but hurricanes are a big reason some people leave, especially if they move by the coast and really underestimated how strong and how much damage yes. a hurricane can do, because they can be scary. The important thing is, educating yourself ahead of time and being prepared. Moving on to another reason people are leaving Florida is the bugs and the critters. There's a lot of them. There are. And it's everything from fire ants, snakes, alligators, bears, tigers. Oh my. No tigers, but there are bears. There are. They're pretty skinny though. Yeah, I think we could probably take them. But for real guys, the insects are a big one. And for me, it's the fire ants yeah. that are the main pest. And it seems like anytime we go someplace outdoorsy, I'm an idiot and I wear sandals and shorts yeah. because hey, it's Florida, Florida, right? And I end up with feet full of ant bites every time. Now here's my thing. I don't think the critters is a reason you and I, whatever. No. It's just not a deal breaker for us, but it is for some people. Some people live in areas that have more creatures than usual. We live in what you'd call like the suburbs. You know, we still get a quite a bit of action where we live. But I couldn't imagine how many times have we driven down like country roads here going, oh my goodness, I wonder what the spiders look like there. Or yeah, oh and, my goodness, the snakes. And we get some big spiders here. And one thing we haven't talked about yet is cockroaches, also known as a palmetto bug. This is why you get exterminators, guys so that the cockroaches don't come in your house. They die before they get in. They die before they get in. But yeah, we'd be lying if you said that you don't see them 
on the sidewalks, you know, maybe outside your house or, you know. You lift up a piece of wood outside and yeah. off scurries a couple cockroaches because it happens. Yeah, but that's why pest control, pest control, pest control. You need to keep those pests under control. Moving on. Another reason people are leaving Florida is because they expect it to be something that it actually isn't. This is a big one. And by that, I mean they expect to come here and have it be vacation every day. They expect the sun to always be shining, which for the most part it, it is. is. We are kind of guilty of that ourselves. When we first got here, we expected everything to be the same like it was up north. And everything to be run the same except for the fact that we're living in paradise. So it's like we thought we'd go to work and get home and hey, it's a party, it's a vacation. No, mm -hmm. you still gotta do everything. You gotta do your laundry. You yeah, gotta make dinner, you gotta clean your house. Yeah, the sun's shining a lot, like we said earlier, but it's still life, guys. You gotta yeah. go about your everyday life. So don't expect to come here unless you got tons of money yeah. and just be able to live it up every single day because you still have responsibilities of everyday life. But the sun shining while you're doing that doesn't hurt. No, it does not hurt. That mm -mm. puts you in a good mood. It definitely does. So moving on, guys. Missing family. Big one. Huge. This is the reason that most people, I believe, leave Florida. Yeah. Is that they are not used to being away from their family for more than a couple weeks at a time. And when you go on living your life without family and hitting these milestones with yes. the kids and everything without family, grandparents not seeing the baseball games, not going to the school recitals, things like that, it takes a toll on you. It does. It can. It definitely can. I don't know how many families I have talked to that have come down here already. And this is what we talk about every time is missing family. Like we said, it is a big one. But as we've told you also before, there's ways to deal with this, guys. We talk about it all the time. Technology can be the hard to understand at times, but it's also... <laughs> <laughs> gotta wrap your head around it sometimes you know sometimes you gotta learn how to work that phone first but it, once you figure it once out once you figure it out it can be an amazing thing facetime pictures all of these things guys but one of the biggest things from experience this time around that i'm learning is getting a trip home in the books something to look forward to and hopefully having other parts of your family also have trips planned to come visit you yes. down here in the sunshine state because we know everybody loves to do that right everyone's favorite vacation spot i promise you guys things like that is going to help big time next on the list why people are moving out of florida is because there are lots of tourist guys like we just said everyone's favorite vacation spot florida yes and I think if you know this, obviously I feel like everybody should kind of know that. I mean, we had vacationed here six years in a row before we moved here. So it's like kind of one of those things, but I don't think you fully grasp it until you move here. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, obviously, who doesn't wanna share the Sunshine State? I mean, people are gonna come down here no matter what. It's just, it's a given. People love Florida, we love Florida. And if you're coming from a place like the Midwest or a town that nobody really vacations yes. in, you definitely notice a difference. You because do. I go to the grocery store now and I can tell who's a tourist in the grocery store just by what they're buying in their cart pretty much. Exactly. And it's crazy because you don't see that, especially where we came from. No one's in town vacationing there. I mean, if they're there, it's because they're there for work for the week or they're there to visit event. family or they're for a sporting event. Yeah. They're not there for vacation and living it up at a pool house and going to Disney World every day. Right. I would be lying if I said that there aren't times I have to catch myself with my frustration and say, you know what, Lindsay? This was you. You were here vacationing. This was you learning to love Florida. This was you five years ago coming here being so excited with the kids to get to Disney. And so these people, they're doing that too. They love it here. Driving down the wrong side of the road, things <laughs> like that. I mean, that's what we talk about when we say yeah. people move away because they're sick of the tourists. It's people not knowing where they're going. So yeah. people get frustrated driving when there's tourists around. You learn to live with it and yeah. learn that it's just a way of life here. You know, you share the beautiful state with those that love to come vacation here. And I think if everybody can learn to respect and take care of this beautiful state and we can coexist together, we all have something in common. We love Florida. Whether you're vacationing here, it's because you love it here. Whether you live here, I'm assuming you probably love it here. I think it's just learning to coexist. And I think the people who live here, I know Eric and I, we have learned to adapt around it. We know, okay, 
we're heading this way, which means we're gonna have to get on I-4, or we're heading this way, so we're gonna hit this traffic. So you leave early, you do things, you adapt, right? You're learning that it's different, and it doesn't always mean that it's bad. It's just different, but let's love each other. Let's love each other, and let's enjoy this beautiful state. Going along with what you just said, Lindsay, about the tourists and just expecting things to be different, I think that's a good segue, and I'm gonna kind of group in the next two things that we have on our list together, and that's healthcare and schools. Lots of people are moving out of Florida because the healthcare isn't what they expected it to be, and the school system isn't what they yes. expected it to be. And it's not necessarily that either one of those is bad, it's that it's different, and it's not what they're used to having. More than likely, wherever it is that you're coming from is over a thousand miles away. You cannot expect to travel distances like that and have everything be exactly the way it is in your hometown. Things are done differently in different areas of the country. Nothing's the same anywhere. Things that we thought were done weirdly here in Florida the first time that we had moved here, when we moved back to Wisconsin, guess what? It was a lot of the same stuff that they were doing here in Florida. So yeah. it really wasn't that different. It's just we had been gone from our home state, so we didn't realize the changes that were happening. Yes. And we thought that the changes were just here in Florida. So as long as you go into this move with an open mind about things like healthcare, about things like schools, expecting them to be different and just learning to adapt, everything's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Fine. And research, 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 research. Another big reason people move to Florida and then end up moving away is because they can't afford it. Yes. Maybe it's that this was just a dream for them and something that they long to do. And no matter what it took, they're going to do it. Dang it. They're going to get to Florida. And then they get here and they didn't do their mock budgets. They did yes. not see exactly what the job that they were going to get was going to pay. So all of a sudden you get here and you can't afford it. Rent's higher than what you expected it to be. Food is higher than what you expected it to be. Gas is higher than what you expected it to be. Your car insurance is higher than what you expect it to be. This is why we say things like we just did. Research, 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 research. guys. Build a mock budget. That is the biggest tip that we can give you guys. Do your research to find out what kind of job you're going to get and what kind of pay you're going to get for that job. Do your research and figure out where you're going to live, how much your rent's gonna be, how much your mortgage is going to be. Do your research, find out how much your electricity bill is going to be. Call your car insurance company. How much is my car insurance going to go up? You need to know these things and create that mock budget. I know I've said it a lot, but it's so important to do that to realize how much money you got left over at the end of the day. Because if you don't have any money left over, you can't afford it. And I'm glad you said that too, because I, I also wanted to add in there is being realistic. Being realistic with how much money you're gonna have left over, because let's face it, you're gonna want to get out and do things like too. Like Target. Not everybody needs a Target budget. But in order to really live and be able to experience things and you came here for a reason and you want different adventures, you want to do things. Now, what I love about Florida so much is there are so many things to do here that don't cost any money or Time don't... out. State park pass. Yes. $120 to fill your vehicle full of people and go to any state park within the entire state of Florida, guys. And there's so much variety. You can go to caves. You can go to so many different beaches, lakes, anything that you want. These state parks are all included with your state park pass. The springs. I was just gonna say springs, I manatees. Mean, yeah, there is so much you can do at just state parks in Florida. And by the way, stay tuned on our channel because we are going to be covering so many of these state parks yes. and we're so excited to do so. But like we said, Florida doesn't have to be expensive. You know, gas in the car to hit up the beach. I think it's all on how, like Erica's always said, your mock budgets, being realistic, laying it out so that your move here can be successful. Yeah, just know what to expect, guys. All right, guys, we've made it all the way to the end of the list. And as you know, seasons come and seasons, seasons go, go, but they don't in Florida. <laughs> they stay the same. But you know what, guys? I feel like I always reference this. But when we headed back up north um, for that short little stint, I think that was one of like the things I was kind of like getting the most excited for was the seasons again. And then it happened. And I'm not. <laughs> I I like our Florida seasons. You know what comes with the change of seasons, right? 
cold, cold weather. Snow. That's, slush. And that's a big reason why we moved to Florida is because mm -hmm. we don't like those things. We don't. I mean, I think we get enough of change in seasons here in Florida. We do. Just enough to satisfy the itch, if you know what I mean. Because the weather does change a little bit. I mean, it goes from highs up in the 90s every day to highs in the 60s and 70s. And if you watch us on TikTok, you'd see that we did have a few days this winter mm. where it was freezing in the morning and I actually yeah. had to scrape some ice off my windshield. So there was that little bit of a feeling that the weather was changing and it was enough because I didn't want to deal with the cold any more than those couple days. But you know what I learned? I learned that, yes, seasons and holidays for a lot of us have to do with the weather. But to me, I've learned that those things are more of a feeling. And I feel like I, I get those warm and fuzzy Christmas feelings just as much as I did when we were up north. Can I, I say something? And I'm sorry if this is you because I'm not trying to offend anybody here. Lindsay doesn't like where this is going. But you know how the littlest guy always buys the biggest truck? Yeah. I feel like Florida compensates for not having cold weather by going all out in the Christmas time. Yes, there is no lack of holiday spirit in Florida. Halloween we go big, Christmas we go big. And I think I've just learned that it doesn't matter like what your outside looks like during those seasons, it's family. It's about being together. It's about the spirit of Christmas, the spirit of Thanksgiving. That's what gets you those warm and fuzzy feelings, not what it looks like outside. And if those feelings of actually experiencing the weather and the changing of the seasons are what you really need, mm -hmm. then do what we talked about, about planning a trip back to your home yes. state and do it around those times of the changing of the seasons. Go back there, be able to see the leaves change colors, be able to see snow, whatever it is that gets you your fix plan your trip around that time. That's a great idea. So guys, the viewpoints in this video are just our opinion and the reasons that we hear from you, our viewers and other people that we've talked to about why you're either apprehensive about coming here or about why maybe you've even moved out of the state of Florida. Exactly, guys. And if there's any other reasons that you feel like people are moving out of the Sunshine State, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. As always, we thank you so, so much, much for watching, watching and, and we'll, we'll see you, you next time.